I went to school for engineering. I have a, I actually have a bachelor's and a master's degree in engineering. And right now, interestingly enough, I'm taking up this whole makeup career as a side thing right now. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been doing it for maybe a year and a half, right? So about a year and a half ago, I went to, I made the decision, which was the best decision ever to go to makeup school. It definitely was brought, it kind of came to me as I was working in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. So at that point when I decided to do this whole makeup venture, um, it was maybe two years or so into my corporate job working there. Um, I work with the greatest people, the, it's a great job, pays well, all those things, great security, mm -hmm. but the thing was, and the thing that I noticed was, um, you know, you go, to, you go to school, you go to college, you learn all these great things, you're educated, but at some point, you know, I kind of felt unsatisfied with what I was doing day mm -hmm. to day. Um, so that's why I was like, you know, pa uh, makeup is a passion of mine. So I decided really, I was like, maybe I should take this seriously. Maybe I could make something out of this. Um, these days you don't really have to go to makeup school to be a makeup artist. You can go to get certified. Um, but I thought it was important for me to get like formal education. So that's what I did. It was like a month long program, a lot of hours went into it. Um, and so I got certified. And then from there, everything began. I, I, I'm not fully transitioned because I still work full time as an analyst. Um, but it's been, since I'm doing both, it's been a kind of a game of like trying to juggle everything and like not having so much free time to do like social things. And because if I'm not working my full time job, I'm on the weekends and doing makeup. So it was a little bit of sacrifice there. So since I didn't really have a budget back then and like I probably wasn't gonna get paid at first, it was like let's do as many TFP projects as possible. Um, let's get your social media um, set up. Cause that was actually like a big, it was actually a whole lesson, you know, how important that is today, mm -hmm. um, in the beauty world. Cause that's where everybody like, it's, it's so, there's so many influencers out there. So it's like, that's makes a big impact. So I think like social media, um, doing an, uh, like enough, doing as many projects as you can, um, getting your, putting yourself out there on social media, like I said, but also trying to network, um, and yeah, so I've done, I was like doing photo shoots for like, maybe like once, once a weekend for a long, for like months and months and months, just to like build that experience and build my portfolio. So to have, uh, to do a wedding and having a bride, like totally love what you did to them. And they, you know, I had a bride, um, uh, she's a Pakistani bride so usually they'll do two days of looks and then it's very like glamorous very um you know cut crease gold you know so i did her first day and her second day of makeup and she just like loved what i did and it, it just like it's a good feeling to like know that you have made this person who maybe isn't used to like getting the opportunity to look like what you did um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis to feel special and to feel beautiful. Um, so that's like, a, it's, it's a good feeling to see people happy of like your accomplishment basically. Mm -hmm.